Afternoon, we are at Frencham Great Ponds today. It's in Farnham, in Surrey, and it's a National Trust owned piece of land in the borough of Waverley, where it's actually got a beach. So you've got like a lake with a beach. <laughs> we'll show you in a minute. Um, and in the summer, like today, a lot of people come here to uh, go on it. So we pulled up in the car park first with our trusty Ellie and we're going to have some bacon rolls first nice cup of tea maybe a drink and then we're going to go and have a little walk round I think Mason wants to have a paddle so we have got <laughs> mummy talking <laughs> we've got the pull out table up on the old owl ground and then I just stick the cooker on that and it kind of keeps a little bit outside rather than cooking inside. So that's quite cool. Hi. And there's the naughty boy that. The Already started eating. Make sure you have your card with you. Oh yeah, tell us about the payment. They don't take Apple Pay here. So you go Ringo is the app and when you go on Ringo, um, all the other places I've been able to pay by Apple Pay but it says Apple Pay not accepted at this location. Brilliant. And you walk up to the payment sh machines and they're only for National Trust members to scan their cards. They don't actually take payment. <laughs> so yeah, we've Be just National Trust members. <laughs> we've just had to phone my mum, because we haven't got our wallets on us, phone my mum, get her to read her card number out so that we can pay for parking. There you go. Thanks, mum. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I um, don't know if I've shown you this before, so... On the alley, look, we've got the old, rather than inside covers, I've got the outside, I haven't put it on very well to be fair, it's a bit messy, but we've got the old front three window covers to keep the heat out a little bit, and if you're sleeping in it as well, it, it works the same, that's quite good. Custom covers it's called, www.customcovers, and if you put it on properly and pull it tight, it goes nice and neat. Not a mess like I've done it, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my cheat, I can't have a thing goes. So I said to Naomi, be really careful because the, the serrated knife, let's have a look at the serrated knife. It is like one of the sharpest serrated knives in the whole world. What does she do? We have blood on our buns. It's just ketchup. <laughs> Good job I got a first day kit. <laughs> Mummy, how are you getting on? Have you done your first aid? Have a look. Lucky, I'm such an expert. Finger dresser. <laughs> she tried to cut her finger with the butter knife. <laughs> I've, now been, gone. I've now been told I'm only allowed to use these types of knives. Bacon, baby. Mm. There's something about, sorry vegetarians, but there's something about the smell of bacon cooking which is out of this world. Bacon and roller. Mm. What? Bacon and roller. How come you've got two? Because I'm much, much bigger than thou. You're going Spanish again. Okay. You're going Spanish again. Oh, I'm a roller. It's either Spanish or French you get as much as on the camera. So, have you ever wondered whether you should have carpet or hard flooring? Here no. is a really good reason why you should not have carpet. So I can just brush that straight out. So looking at the car park, this is right down the bottom. So when you first come in the car park at the top, keep on going all the way in, right to the back, and you will find the beach bit. A navy. I don't think some people realise that you can go all the way into the beach no. and they park at the top. 
and it's even got as a hut air look. I think it's a cafe, isn't it? The other side. And this side, you've got toilets for men, and around the other side, got toilets for women. Let's have a look. You know, out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Have a look in a minute. Out the front here, they've got loads of benches that go all the way around. Some under the tree, so it's quite shaded. And then they've got the uh, cafe style serving hatch. And they've got all the um, different ice creams and coffees and stuff like that. Very good. So, this is the beach where it pretty much is just like a beach, I suppose. It's sand and. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is an area where there is sands naturally. I don't think they've actually brought any here unless they've topped it up. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's quite sandy soil anyway. As you can see, it's really popular. There's a lot of people. So if you go past the main beach, which was down that end, and go a bit further, there's another one which has got a slightly smaller entrance but there's a lot less people in the sand here it's a lot easier to find a space to uh, set up I think <laughs> so we're currently walking around the whole of the pond yeah, it's a bit dirty, mate, that water. It's got that, the green stuff in it. Why does it look so stiff? There's a path that goes all the way around it. And it is all sandy down here as well, so I would imagine most of the sand is natural. Yeah, we were right over the other side, see there? That's where that beach is, just there. That's behind the hedges though, isn't it? Oh, it might be through that little gap, yeah. We should have done a little um, Garmin thing, see how far round it was yeah. for the walk. I reckon it's probably about a um, just over a mile, maybe 1.2 miles all the way around the pond, is my guess. So most of the walk round here, there's a path and it's really, really flat. It's really easy going, so you could wear flip-flops or whatever you wanted to to be honest around here it's a dry day today so don't know what it's like in the wet but it's really really soft and flat it's quite nice look at the size of these little buggers are those red ants no these are soldier ants <laughs> massive aren't they yeah. <laughs> i know it's nothing new it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight Have, has his own sailing club, French and Pond Sailing Club. Can't park in there. And inside here we have got, oh wow, look at all the boats in here. This is where they obviously keep them all. We've got a French and Pond Kennels and Cattery as well opposite. You can hear them barking actually. So here is the Frencham Hotel, which has chalets on its own there. The 
before the actual main part of the hotel up here and a rather nice statue and here is the Frenchham Hotel or Frenchham Pond Hotel as it's called where we're going to have a drink so here's the menu which is on the tables to get my phone yeah quite nice this is a very nice French and Pond Hotel very posh there's lots of outside places to sit and here at the hotel we find a big horse two big horses what's it made of? oh they are actually metal wow this is how stupid Mason is. So we had a look at the um, prices of the rooms in the hotel here, and a double, decent double room is 103 quid for the night. So not too bad. It does look like quite a nice, quite a nice location. Um, they've got lots of adverts for weddings and stuff like that so yeah with the backdrop being in Farnham and the French and Ponds it's quite a good location there it is I had a bit of lager Mason had some lemonade and Naomi had a cake And here we are, all the way around the other side. Back at the Ziwani. Right, so we finished at French and Pond. French and Great Pond. Quite a nice place to come, I think. Have a nice walk round. Paddle in the little beach bit into the lake. Stay in the hotel now. <laughs> she wants to stay in the hotel now. Um, we're now off to, where are we off to now? Oh, what's cool. what's it we'll let you know when we get there. Hi. But basically, Mason's going to drive a miniature Land Rover, is that right? Yes, it's called Jungle Mania Golf. Yourself, all right. Oh, amazing. Um, so if he's going to crash, you can press that, the car will completely stop. <laughs> you mean when? To the left. <laughs> <laughs> look at him go. Watch where you're going. Right, like looking at your feet. <laughs> Watch out. Hang on, mate. Oh, look, you have to get a hippo here. Mate, you have to collect your hippo. That's the whole point, mate, collecting the stuff. Oh, yeah, it's just in reverse. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and you put the pieces in there as you go around. I'll see another one. Brilliant. So, this is actually going around the crazy golf. There's a crazy golf in the middle. So, how much was this, mummy? Uh, £17.50. £17.50. You can't you get have... two children in there. Oh, so £70.50, it could be two children car, in one. Yeah, yeah. yeah for a All right, oh, well, that's good. And you're allowed up to 45 minutes, apparently, which is cool. So let's go round and collect the pieces. Thank 
castle. <laughs> Bouncy castle there. And then they got a cafe down there. Oh, they got what's that? Ice cream, waffle shakes, bubble tea. And then a little cafe to go there, food and drink. What is this? This is a tiger. Oh, yeah, it's a tiger. Here we go! We're going downhill now, we're really flying. <laughs> 